Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Get my glasses on here because I'm going to be reading some stuff here. I want to read to you today 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 4. 1 through 5. 1 Corinthians 4, 1 through 5. Let a man so consider us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that one is found faithful but with me it is very small thing that I should be judged by you or by a human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself for I know nothing against myself Yet I am not justified by this, but he who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, judge nothing before it's the time until the Lord comes, who will both bring the light to light the hidden things of darkness and reveal the counsels of the heart then each one's praises will come from God in other words the scripture is saying that as a servant of God I am judged only by the Lord when the time comes. That you and no court has a right to judge me. But of course, you all like to judge me because you think sins are never forgiven and Also, that no um, person who is saved by the grace of God is worthy enough to be preaching. especially to a bunch of sinners. The problem is if we uh, wasn't preaching then how would you know the truth? That there is sin and there are evil sinners in this world who connive and scheme to hurt others like myself. And now let me get to the other thing I want to mention. I went to Walmart yesterday to get some things, make sure they still had I mean to make you know check to check to see if they had some things that I was wanting to buy the other day that they didn't have. Sure enough, they did have them, so I was able to buy them. And bought some other things that uh, I forgot about. And then go to another grocery store where they were running a sale, a 10 for 10 sale. Well, after doing that yesterday afternoon, got back home. 
Of course, I, I had my little camera on me when I was walking into Walmart. But this time, there was only one person at the door doing the counting and another person uh, helping with the carts and wiping down the cart hand spraying. They, they've been using this like mist spray thing to the mist down the carts. Anyhow, um, like the other day, which was Thursday when I went down there to Walmart, there was the counter, there was two other ladies wearing black shirts, and one of those ladies was the one that, that hollered at that woman to, you know, she has had, a, had, had to have a mask on to go into Walmart. And then there were masks at the uh, jewelry counter. Well, I checked out those masks at the jewelry counter um, area yesterday while I was down there and they were mostly all kids masks there were some adult masks that you know were uh, like American Proud and uh, Ohio Proud those were the adult masks and all the other kid, the kids masks like you know Superman and Wonder Woman and uh, Spongebob Squarepants and things of that nature So, and there was people standing around, not wearing a mask at all, and they, they had their masks pulled down. They, they wear these, uh, like, you know, I can't remember what they're called. They go up around your neck and they come up over your uh, face. There's been some controversy about those not really being effective. But there was people who have had those on, and of course, just staying there. And it was down, you know, down around their neck, and they were talking to other people, just standing there talking in close proximity to each other. And, um, like, really, you know, people were really not really social distancing like you think they should. But, you know, I'm not complaining. Hey, everybody, each to their own. I, I really feel that this virus has been a joke from the beginning. Well, I mean joke, it's just... It all started last year. And it just came to head <coughs> this year. That was Renee Coffin. No, she's not dying. So let no, let's not go there. She's all upset for what she got in the mail today. But back up to uh, something else she got in the mail it was on Thursday. She got something in the mail. It came in a little card uh, envelope like this here. And it was a card from uh, Nationwide. And, and it was uh, a note basically from uh, the insurance agent, Kim Davis. Uh, and I called Kim Davis, talked to her because she gave her a phone number. And she said, as I was talking to her and I explained to her about you, you internet trolls and you hackers like uh, wreaking havoc with me and Renee hacking into, uh, not just sending e fake emails, but you like also to hack into other people's computers 
and make make it look like an email was sent to them when it really wasn't sent to them or even an email that came from their account their email account so I, what happened was she said the funny thing was the email was just there when she opened up her computer system it was there but it really didn't come from an outside email it did not come from an outside email source because when she tried to respond to it it didn't it didn't go it didn't go to the email provider to supposedly go back to Renee because it wasn't an actual email you hacked her computer system and made it look like she received an email now you're going onto insurance agents computer systems and hacking their computer systems that is why I, I also made another report to the IRS I mean not excuse me IRS the FBI cyber crimes division I told them everything that's been going on here everything that's been going on since it all started I even told them about when uh, the Carroll County's uh, uh, email was hacked and I received a email a nasty email here from uh, Sonia Leggett who was the who was the director of the Carroll County Transit Service and I also showed them I also gave them this uh, other email too where I reported to the Sheriff's Department that I received where you people are saying that you're go you're um, trying to get me in trouble with the cyber crimes division so I sent all I sent them these emails that you've been sending and I told and, they, and of course it says is there any witnesses well yeah I worked on the witnesses the people that you uh, used to send me the email and also like Kim Davis and then some other people as well and I of course report it to the service department when I report to the service department so they have all that information that Carroll County's computer systems being hacked employees with uh, insurance agents or insurance agents that is computer systems are being hacked <coughs> by you people who hate me and my ministry and my nonprofit organization now of course Renee she requested a book to be sent to me and um, I got an email saying that uh, actually something I don't understand the email came from the US Postal Service but this here package here so I, that, I don't know it still might it still might be coming then whatever it is might still be coming from the Postal Service I don't know it might be that book that but Renee got a, a package today this is Sunday of course they do deliver on Sundays Renee got a package today from through uh, FedEx and I received an email in my ministry email from this company right here
that basically supplies discrete um, hygiene um, products. Renee thought, it, you know, she thought it was my book. Um, like, for, it can't be my book because that's coming in the U.S. mail. You know, basically, this is what it is here, too. You know what I mean? They advertise this stuff on TV a lot for people that have incontinence. Problem is, we didn't order this. Especially for Renee, because um, she's had surgery to help her bladder. She's on medication. She doesn't have any issues, really, when it comes right down to it. Oh, uh, then, issues with you people who think it's funny by wasting companies' time and, and, and resources and, and their postage to send us things that we did not order. But you think it's funny to do that. You also think it's funny to hack into government websites. And you also think it's funny to hack into other people's computer systems as well. You think it's funny. It's not funny. No, it is not funny whatsoever. Now the FBI Cyber Crimes Division knows that of course they should have been informed about this a long time ago which I did inform them about all the other stuff but you know been up to Carroll County to inform the FBI what was going on but sometimes I don't think really Carroll County really understands the scope of the situation not until they uh, and the, somebody at Carroll County re, uh, opened up an email that had a um, virus in it then allowed you hackers to get into uh, their computer system again an email system again and s send out fake emails when are you going to wake up when are you going to wake up and learn that you will, you can only do so much before somebody gets wise of you. I'm wise of you. And I'm constantly telling people, hey, you need to be wise of these hackers as well. If um, the email doesn't have our legitimate phone number, which you do not have our legitimate phone number. All you have is a very old phone number that we no longer have. So when you use that phone number, it's not our legitimate phone number. And also our password. If, um, Emails doesn't have any of those. That's not really from us. But if we, you know, send a legitimate phone, our legitimate phone number and our password to be our special code, basically, that we have to contact that, so that they know the email is 
actually from us. And you're like, wait a minute, there's, well, you know, we contact everybody and we say, hey, listen, if you don't receive this special code from us, the email is not legitimate. I am praying for your souls because you're going to need it when the time comes. And oh yeah, I, I, I heard something too from somebody in my, uh, my one of my uh, YouTube channels that there was a no secret blog where you people are talking about I'm supposedly donating to Black Lives Matter. Well, instead of donating in my name, donate it in the name of Christ Jesus. Donate it in the name of Christ Jesus. If it's not in the name of Christ Jesus, then it's not really for me. Not saying I'm Christ, but I'm, I would be doing something in His name, not my name. Think about that. God bless you. Have a blessed day. I know I will.